Chris, eh? How you doing? All right? All right, right, boy. Welcome to this evening's entertainment, evoking the everyday escapades and spectacular spirit, or may I say true grit, of our very own most easterly fishing community. I saw the show uh, last week when they did it at the Seagull and came back today with a friend because I thought it was so good. I can remember the fishing boats, I remember all that sort of atmosphere. It's just amazing how they've made it come alive. Something totally different, but oh, so moving, but so funny and uh, just amazing. In my family, we've got a lot of Billies. Always use the same first names we do. William, John, Robert and Edward. And to work out who's who, we have to say, Billy's boy, Bill. That's your dad. That's right. Or there's Billy's boy, Jack. Jack's boy, Johnny. Bob's boy, Billy. Bob's boy, Bob. <laughs> Not to be confused with his brother's son, the boy, Bob's Billy boy, Bob. <laughs> All I can say is it brings back a lot of memories to me as being born and bred in Lowestoft. Dad was a fisherman. He had a nickname, Ducks, and I was called Young Ducks when I went on the boats. Me, I can relate to a lot of those things, believe it or not. And Well, what a show to have, and I hope it continues. I was worried it was going to be nostalgia, but instead it was happy, sad, entertaining, and... A really good evening. Oh, it was fantastic. Really, really good fun. Great to see Lower Stuff portrayed in um, such a positive way again. Yeah, it was great. It was so heartfelt and so honest. In fact, it was really uh, enough to bring tears to one's eyes frequently. We, we don't know Lower Stuff at all. We are, we're Londoners and recently discovered it. And I'm not surprised, it was a sellout, and the audience was totally behind the whole performance. That was a real community down here when I was a boy. You didn't need to go uptown for nothing, did you? Well, they wouldn't welcome you if you did. It was us and them. The uptowners looked down on us, so we didn't bother looking up. <laughs> I just think that was depicted tonight so beautifully and with just five people I think that was fantastic lovely pianist as well and I'm so pleased I came it's lovely to see the romance of, of, a, of a forgotten town really and, and a forgotten part of a town brought, brought to life and it was done in a wonderfully sympathetic and powerful way and, and that really strong sense of community was one of the strongest things to come across. Um, and whether that was because of people's proximity and living together and the danger they faced and the fact they were all involved in the same industry. Um, and it really brought all of that home. When the key turns the corner, my face looks to the sky. So many memories, particularly because I done quite a lot to deal with the fishing fleets and things when I was a child. So it actually had me in tears because I can actually feel that extreme pain that people used to feel when people were lost at sea. So it's lots of laughs and and a bit of sadness, which is what life's all about, isn't it? Uh, I actually quite like the show because it actually. He made me feel really sad in some bits and then it made me laugh in others. Now it's your turn, all joining the chorus. In the words, after four, one, two, three, four. Oh, I'm happy. I know I had no luck. I swear I will get you down. I swear I will get you up. Oh, It's exactly the kind of thing which, which um, local communities should be doing, is remembering, but doing it properly, doing it with a bit of art, doing it with a bit of structure, doing it in a way that people who aren't from lower stuff all their lives can really get it. I thought it was...
it was beautiful. I loved it. I um, laughed, I cried, I sang. Thank you.